Lots of bloggers keep recommending COB strips for home use lately. They say the steep cost makes sense. But is that actually the case? Today, we'll do a practical comparison to see which one is actually better. SMD LED strips have visible individual LEDs on the surface, with common options of 60, 120, 180, 240, or 320 LEDs per meter. Unit 2835 LED strip is the most popular SMD strip out there. When lit, you can totally see the little LED dots super grainy. But the COB strips, they glow in a smooth line, no clunky dots at all. Zoom in, and you will spot tons of tiny LEDs inside, all thanks to that yellow light transmitting blue layer on the surface. COB's production and structure are way more complex than SMD, so sense specs and quality, COB is a little pricier. But that doesn't mean COB strips have better light outputs than SMD. SMD strips glow directly, while COB's light reflects through the surface glue first, making it softer and more muted. So at the same price, SMD's light is purer and clearer. If you're using an aluminum channel with a PVC diffuser, go for SMD. The light will be even clearer, and you won't see those off Obvious LED dots at all. But put SMD strips in a shallow trough or behind a black cover, you'll get super granny. For those setups, pick CUB or high density SMD strips with better effects, no annoying hotspot issues. Also, SMD strips handle voltage drop way better. Usually, you'll only notice it over 10 meters. Some even work 20 meters without it. The single color CUB strips, voltage drop hits hard over 7 meters, need lots of length. Topping up power is such a hassle. Here's the rule of thumb pick SMD. If if the LEDs won't be seen or reflected, or for exposed linear lights with profiles over 0.9 cm. For everything else, use COB as a backup. COB is soft, even glow lights you use it better to save time and money. Just stick it in hidden spots where the light source isn't visible. No need for aluminum channels, but wipe the surface clean first, or you'll fall off easily later.